Good morning. Good morning. It is travel day. We are going back to Disney World. No one was surprised. Um, and how many nights are we going for now? Oh, oh. Hang on. We are going for 18 nights. Um, we're doing things a little bit differently this time round. We are... <laughs> 10 out of 10. No, I love death. We are going to be staying at Cabana Bay, which I've never stayed at before. You have. Um, for six nights, so we can do Universal and Halloween Horror Nights. Ah. Cannot wait. Oh um, so we're going to spend the first week up in Universal and then travel down to Disney and we're gonna stay at uh, Pop Century. Again, never stayed there. You've never stayed there, have you? So, new resorts, new resorts. And then, a little special something at the end of the trip. Where are we staying? Animal Kingdom Lodge for two nights. We check in on my birthday. It was my Christmas present from this one. And I'm very, very excited for it. Can't wait. And there's actually some new stuff for us. So, um, obviously, there's new houses at Halloween Horror Nights. Half of the reason why I go every year at this time of year. Um, but we have also got Moana Journey of Water, which is opening on the 16th. Minions, Mayhem Blast, whatever it's called. The whole Minions Land. Phantasmic, there's a new Phantasmic, which is this one's favorite show. Don't worry, I'm coming up there. They name it for my yeah, you are. Um, I haven't seen Phantasmic since before COVID, and I cannot wait. We have definitely booked a dining package, so we can sit in the middle to watch it. Bring back the dessert party, Cal. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. We are currently on our way to Gatwick. Um, we have booked APH um, airport parking, which I don't think I've used before, so we will let you know how that goes. Um, can't wait. These seats are nice. What have we got there, Dale? A good pair. A good like pair. Oh. A good pair. Oh. Red for Phil. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, boy. What have we got in it? Socks. Oh, a pen. I thought that was the... Great audio description of what you're unpacking there. <laughs> I'm getting it all out and then I can say it. Socks, eye mask, a pen, some lip balm, and toothbrush. A what brush? Toothbrush. Tooth. <laughs> there's so much leg room and there's like a little hood thing. And place for your water bottles if you've got any. Oh, nice. And got a little, little tray table. What's that? Oh, is that our actual tray table? Right, let's see what films are on. Let's go. Should we need to evacuate? Move quickly to the nearest useful. Is it nice? Yeah. 
lovely. So this is the premium economy menu. They've changed, they're much smaller, tiny little menus, but we'll have a little look. So we've got garlic and Wasma chicken, a beef rendang, and a vegetarian Glamorgan sausage. That's probably what that one will have. Yum, yum, yum. Um, and then cheese and crackers and a nice just chocolate dessert as well. And then on the back, we have some cocktails, mocktails, spirits, wines, beers, tea, coffee. Yeah, nice. Okay, drinks have arrived. I got myself a gin and tonic, Tanqueray. Sam's got a brew dog. Transatlantic IPA. Boom. Nice. And we got the mini pretzels. Mine have gone already pretty oh, much. they're gone. You'll probably eat them. This might be the best vegetarian sausage I have ever had in my entire life. It's so like soft, it melts in your mouth, and there's like a red onion gravy that is just lovely. How's your beef, Dale? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's good, yeah? Happy? Happy days. Boom. This, I'm very excited for. What did you just say? That was the best hip flight food I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> He's crying. He needs delicious. more. He That's needs more. Look, it's gone. Best meal I've had in my entire existence. <laughs> <laughs> The aeroplane is bumpy. <laughs> Jeez. Focus. <laughs> Bye. We Where? have arrived. We have arrived. That was <laughs> that was probably the smoothest travel day I think I've ever had until Amazing. this part. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. It was uh, 45 minutes to get through security, but we waited like a half hour for our bags. Yeah. But um, we've got our Uber. The Uber is five minutes away. Um, and it cost $36, I think, which is about £29, Monzo just told me, so. How was the flight? How did you enjoy Premium Economy? I actually loved it. Yeah. I really loved it. It was so good. Like, the leg room, like, I felt like I was in club. I know it wasn't, but I felt like it was. Yeah. And I watched four films. The staff were amazing. Like, big so shout good. out to the staff. Um, I'll show you a treat that they got me when we get to the yeah. resort. It was uh, so cute. The food was amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't have any turbulence. Yeah, I it got... It was so good. Yeah, you had the beef, didn't you? I had... Oh, we showed you. <laughs> pumpkins all over it. We are checked in. We are in one of the Volcano Bay View Towers. I've slightly got a little bit emotional. Um, it's all good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Right, we'll get to the room first and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so this is the building I stayed in last time I stayed. The Americana building. But we are slightly further in the tower. Even the mat is exciting. So we're in Bayside, okay. And we are on floor eight. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. They also asked if we're celebrating anything and it is my birthday while we're out here. Um, not actually in this resort, but while we're out here. And they gave me a little redemption thing for, was it a slice of cake or an ice cream? And, and a birthday badge. Okay, 8, 11, that's this way. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He's found the room. 7, 8, 11. 
Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have a water park view. <laughs> and you've never been to Volcano Bay, have you? I am obsessed. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That'll do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, like, I want to look at this window, and then I want to look at that window. Do it. The world's your window. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. I'm so this obsessed. Cool. Right, so we've got coffee machine. What have we got in here? Fridge. A drawer space. TV. Adjoining room, but we're going to keep that locked. Iron, ironing board. We've got a sink. We've got a Sam. Still in his shirt because he didn't actually change out of it on the plane. We've got shower and I was not going to call it a toilet. And then beds, phone, alarm clock, cute cabana. Notebook, a bivet. I'm so, so excited for this. And this is the view that we all wake up to. Definitely gonna have to sleep with those open. Right, oh should we go explore? Yes, please. Yes! <laughs> so this is the Bayliner Diner. So it has a variety of quick service options. They've got a Starbucks, which I think will be fueling Dale most days. <laughs> Um, up there you have got Galaxy Bowl, and I believe that's where Chucky's Twisted Playground is. We have the very, very dangerous place to exist right now, because I have already eyed up every single piece of Horror Nights merch, and I don't know which t-shirt I'm getting. I mean, that's a definite. Oh. <laughs> How much are the candles? Because we just smelt one and they're really good. Twenty dollars. Oh, I feel like they different. were pricier last. This is that not good? Oh, that's just like Christmas or autumn candle. The other one though, what I'm having it. Yeah, the other one is very much fog smell, which I am here for. Twenty dollars. We've seen this tote, so I was tempted buy this t-shirt but I think I like the drawstring bag instead and RIP NASA bag I haven't had a drawstring in a while it's $28 I might just have to do it and then that justifies me purchasing a different shirt shirt glasses oh no <laughs> I am getting this <laughs> needs to be I done oh. The oh yeah oh that's so cool how much are they? I feel like we should get them for bowling night. This is 64. Oh. You know, or we could just like... Or we could just like stare at it for a little bit. But the TV. Or if we just don't sweat, we can just return them afterwards, right? <laughs> 25. 25? That's, that's, Do it. That's this is cute. I love the towel. Yeah. I just love the theming of Cabana Bay so much. I oh, will have to get a pin. I don't really, I don't really use these. But I want yeah, for someone who doesn't use them, you pick up almost every variation of them that we see. <laughs> right, we've had to vacate before that got dangerous. No, stop it. <laughs> stop it right now. Oh. It's just amazing, isn't it? You love a stringed fairy light. Wedding. Wedding. <laughs> At Cabana Bay, let's go. We've got Atomic Grill, which does currently look like it's closed. And Atomic Tonic, which is still open. We might have to get a drink either here or in the indoor bar. There's fire pits everywhere. It's just so cute. Just quickly picked up some sort of create your own salads from Bayline Adila. I'm so sorry, I keep doing this to you. And we are just enjoying the ambience and taking it in. And then I think we're probably passing out in about T minus 10 minutes. Okay. So that is travel day completed. 
that is resort tour explore completed um thoughts on cabana bay so far dale insane absolutely insane i'm staying here again yes that is the wanted result um it's such a good resort it's so reasonably priced I... for what it is like this is a is it prime value or whatever resort? yeah and yeah it's it's unreal other things to close out travel day yeah like we touched on earlier smoothest travel day i've ever had everything just seemed to happen so quickly um until obviously we got to customs um but that's that's a different thing that is just the way of life um for anyone that doesn't know the new terminal so customs typically in orlando international airport was you go through customs and then you pick up bags the new terminal that british airways fly into is you pick up the bags and then go to customs which i did prefer typically um because i prefer to have my stuff with me before i potentially stand in a two hour queue but what that meant is despite us like powering through and getting like to that bag drop first we waited about half an hour for our bags and you sit there and you can see the queue for passport control so we we watched our fates it's um, basically luck of the draw because you pick your bag up first yeah your bag could be the first one out and then you're whizzing through passport control or <coughs> you can be waiting a very long time for your yeah. bag and then you're in a hour queue but yeah. what, luck of the draw luck of the draw but what i will say is i have waited like an hour and a half to two hours oh yeah in the other system so i think you know it's it's just a luck situation but yeah it's a bit brutal watching that queue get bigger when you're like <laughs> please please but no even that like we were kind of tired and out of it at that point so it didn't hugely affect um uber was quick and yeah the british airways cabin crew i'll show you dale had got chatting to some of the british airways um cabin crew and he sort of disappeared for i thought he was in the toilet for ages just doing what humans do but um he then came back and he'd been chatting away to um two of the girls and they came over and brought me this this card which if you can read it if it'll focus it's just really cute and it says happy birthday from all of the uh cabin crew on ba2039 from london gatwick to uh mco the oh. volcano's popping off. Oh, it's popping off. Fuck. <laughs> there. <laughs> um, but no, they brought over that card and also brought over a bottle of this to say happy birthday and have a lovely time. So thank you very much. That was so nice. That was really, really not expected. And, um, yeah, it's been a bit of an emotional day, to be fair. I cried in the lobby of Cabana Bay. That didn't go on camera, but... Yeah. So, it is Island's Adventure tomorrow. Yeah. We will attach that on to today. So we will see you in the morning. Goodbye. It's not goodbye. We'll see them in about five seconds. See you in five seconds. Good morning. It is Island's of Adventure day. Woo, woo, woo. These are our outfits. I'm trying using this again and I already hate it, but we will see how we get on. Got to get those high angles to hide the chins. So, plan for... <laughs> plan for today, we have to go pick up our annual passes. We got a the deal where you buy a year and you get three months extra, mm -hmm. so it would cover this year and a potential September, October trip next year as well. So, works out cheaper, had to be done. And then, this one wants a certain drink from Starbucks that he has not stopped talking about. Can't wait, um, you'll see in a minute. And then we are off to Islands of Adventure for the day. Hagrid, Velocicoaster, Jurassic Park River Adventure. Cat in the hat. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> We've got the annual passes. So Dale went and picked those up while I got in the queue for stabs. It is long. So the coffees have been acquired. And if you are looking to pick up any tickets in the resort, the vacation planning center is here, just in the lobby. 
by the entrance. Let's go. So we have decided we're gonna try the walk-in route. We're gonna scope it out, see what it's like. Apparently it'll take about 20 minutes. You just head left out of the lobby and follow the signs to the best of our knowledge. So Dale, rate the drink. Are you happy? Best drink in the world. Oh. In the world. Bold claims. Phenomenal. Bold claims. Still going strong. Um, we should be joining on to the walkway that um, Royal Pacific and everything is on. So fingers crossed, because then that means we get to skip the huge line for security into City Walk, which would be lovely. And it will bring us out right by Islands of Adventure where we're headed. Oh. I see islands. And here we are. So we've joined on to where the guests of Lowe's Royal Pacific Hotel would walk. So now we know it's only like a five to 10 minute journey from here. Time check. It is 7.43. It's been 13 minutes. And oh, we see the line. That is, that is a bridge line. Oh yeah. So this is the line. It took us 20 minutes. It's 10 to 8. Uh, we have early park entry because we are resort guests and that starts at 8 o'clock. Otherwise, regular admissions from 9. Um, we just had cheering, so we think they're letting people in a bit early. We're in! So it took about 15, 20 minutes for us to get through that queue. Um, Velocicoast is currently delayed. Hagrid's is looking wild. Um, and then Forbidden Journey opens at 8.30, but we're here for the vibes. So the Hagrid is using that extended queue. It's currently up to a two hour wait. Um, we have the Forbidden Journey ride that opens at 8.30, so we think we're gonna hover and wait for that because Velocicoaster isn't testing yet, so that is the plan. And then we'll have a head start for the rest of the park when that opens. didn't have a line though. Do you want them? Every time. Same shot. Every time. Oh, I love this ride. I love this queue. Ah. Are you excited, Dale? No. No. So the ride opens in five minutes and there's no outdoor queue. It's looking good. Done. So good. It seems like they've upgraded the um, sound and stuff because it's all working so well. Um, the only thing that wasn't working was a Dementor at the end. We'll take it. We'll take the win. Um, Lost Coaster is still delayed and the rest of the park opens in 20 minutes. So we're just going to soak it in. Alright. So we are heading back over to the front of the park because we want to do Superhero Island next. And that's all going to open from 9. So this is the current wait for the regular guest entrance and we are gunning for this one. Let's go! It begins! As with most attractions, there's no filming, so we're going to put our stuff in the lockers and see you on the other side. We just done the Hulk. It was pretty smooth, like I'm not in too much pain. Yeah, we did front row and it was just mwah, so good. Um, as we were getting off the ride, it's gone down. Literally, we were walking past the photo point and everything went zoom. And now everyone's been evacuated from the ride. Yeah. So we're going to beat the crowd and get on another ride. Yeah. Let's beat that power cut crowd to Spider-Man. Five minute wait, apparently. Let's go. <laughs> So 
Spider-Man done. It is now a 35 minute wait. I'm very glad we did that when we did. There you are. That was a really good run of that run. It was. Like, everything was working. I feel like universal maintenance is, is working overtime right yeah. now. Like everything is so good. Kong is currently a 25 minute wait. Not a bad wait by any means. It's actually a pretty decent time for them, but uh, yeah. we're just in River Adventure's 10 minutes. So we're gonna go get some pictures of this one in this Jurassic Park outfit and then just commit to that, I think. And then food. Pictures have been acquired, and now it's time for this. It says it's a 10 minute wait, amazing. <laughs> so Dale very sensibly put the poncho on. I did not. I didn't get too bad, but um, another really good run through. Like, I feel like maintenance is just on it. There was a lot of dinosaur animatronics missing, don't get me wrong. But all the other effects worked pretty well. If you've, if you've been on this ride before, and you know the box thing that happens, it's working again, and it hasn't been working for years. So far, I love it. Today's such a good day. <laughs> I don't need another lounge fly, but, but I yes. also do. 10 a.m. Way! <laughs> 10 a.m. on the dot, we're going in for a bag of eggs. Let's go. Ooh, baby. Give me all the letters. Oh my god. So burgers have been acquired. We're now just getting oh. our bits for it from the salad station. You know I love a gook. And you, you oh, do. oh. So I went for the herbivore burger, which is like a mushroom burger with vegan bacon and stuff like that. Got some gherkins on the side. Too many probably, but it's fine. What did What didn't I get? Everything. <laughs> Food is good. Food is good. So good. So good. I nearly died. Yeah, he just he, he just had his um, elbow stuck in this thing. And it was it was a moment. Oh, no. oh, no. It was a moment, sorry, there's the there you can see me now. Um, if you're looking for just a really good burger. Burger eggs. Love it's it. so good. The veggie burger is like a portobello mushroom and it's got this like, not spicy, but like it's got a tang to it sauce and it's so tasty. Um, yeah, I love it. And like if you if you come to Burger Diggs and you sit outside, you see this. Oh yes, and him. But mostly this. Love you. <laughs> we are going in. To the Halloween shop. Here's the odd fellow's top. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. This is the other one. Oh, what? Wait, I've never seen this one before. This is the other one. Let me see it. Oh, see, I like that one. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, that one. I really like that one. I think that's really cool. Go to the back again. Stunning. Maybe the ladies' cut would be better for me. Stunning. Where the luxurious cut. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice as well. Plain, oh, I, I plain on the back. That's cool. Oh, that's the plan. Okay, with the, this crossbody, I really like as well. How much is this? How much are you? Fifty-five. Not too bad. There's the Jewel and Dragons one. Oh, see you in the fog candle. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Got a bit of like pumpkininess to it. I prefer the one we found in the resort. There's a Dueling Dragons one there. If you want to try that one. Oh, that smells like a horror house. Oh, <laughs> woof. Oh no. Oh no. Oh sugar in hell. How much are you? Is it anything more than forty dollars? I ain't doing it. 75 when it's not even a lounge fly it's it's a knockoff lounge fly you're really nice but it's a no just come into the confectionery shop in zeus landing i always love the little desserts here they're so cute oh the butterfinger brownie looks delicious all of the fudge Oh, 
we were definitely too full for anything sweet, but I think it might be time for uh, the inevitable. Love that. Had a great time. Did you have a good time? Love it. Best ride in the park. <laughs> so we have come back to the front of the park. Um, how have you been out there? Literally just so nice. I think we're going to head over to Universal Studios just for a little bit. And then probably pop back to the resort for like a refresh, maybe check by the pool. Maybe now. Yeah. And then come back recharged because in the evening we want to do Velocicoaster, Hagrid, maybe the Zeus trolley ride because I haven't done that in a while. Yeah. If you heard me over the And uh, come on, help! It's just nice being able to like not rush everything on this trip because we're here for quite a lengthy period of time. And we're in Universal for like most of this week, all of this week, sorry. I like the way we say this, but we've still managed to do a lot. Forbidden Journey, Hulk, Spider-Man, and River Adventure, have lunch, and it's what um, Excuse me, you forgot the most important ride. What have we just done? Good night. We came this way for the full experience. <laughs> So it seems like they've stopped the ball, so it's kind of in the perfect locations for photos. It's kind of a good idea, but I'm not sure how I feel. This excites me more than you could know. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Chucky House, here we come. Tomorrow. It's not on tonight, it's, it's a Tuesday. I keep forgetting that Minions Land is now a thing. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't wait for Halloween Horror Nights to begin. Whoa, whoa. Do you know what though? Minions Land isn't as in your face as I thought it would be, so I'm not as mad at it. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah, it looks quite good, doesn't it's it? It's fellow stage. Oh, <laughs> baby. She's cooking. Oh my god, look at all the scares on stuff. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, Villain Con Minion Blast is currently a 50 minute wait. We'll definitely be doing that, potentially tomorrow morning. But, um, yeah, we are just vibing for the time being. It's definitely a busier day today, I think, where Halloween Horror Nights is on uh, Wednesday through to Sunday, Monday and Tuesdays. I'm assuming just get busier where you get people that are not doing Halloween Horror Nights and just buying their park proper tickets. These are the two days they're going to do it on, but... This looks cool though. I see Gru. This looks so fun. Seeing as we're here, it would be rude not to check out the tribute store. Oh wow. So we've got all the Halloween Horror Nights merch again. Ugh, I want them all. I want that one, I want that one. Where's the other ones? There, I want that one. These are so cool, I mean. Much better. Much better. This is the Stranger Things one, which looks really cool. You've got Exorcist. And you've got the Universal Monsters, which I am terrified for. Oh. Oh! Wow! That's so cool! I think people down here. Me after I ate that burger. <laughs> I think I want to do like an oversized burger. Yeah. So if you get that one, and I'll get that one. Ooh, bubbles. Yeah, I love that. Very, very. Oh, wow. He got the goods. I got, jump I did. Yeah, I got a t shirt. Um, I got. Yeah. I got this one ready for tomorrow night. I love it. Yeah. I think it's really cool. 
and that t-shirt was about $35 after tax and I'm just getting so hyped for Horror Nights now that we are here and seeing the scare zones and all of the merch. Um, it's very exciting, very exciting. Oh, I've got a stain on this. Oh no. <laughs> so we are now heading out of the park. It's been such a lovely first day. So since we left you last, we hung around with our friend Dan for a bit. We did, we went to Universal Studios, walked around, had a move in all of the shops. That was very nice. Um, we then came back over here and did Doctor Doom's Fear 4. We then took our chances with Hagrid's. Yeah. Now it was posted 120 minute wait and our thing that we always do every time now is when it's at its highest posted weight we just walk into the queue or try and see from where the frog wire are whether people are stood outside there yeah. and quite often we found it we posted like a 120 minute wait and actually there's no one queuing very far outside and when we do that we just go in so today's wait posted 120 minutes for Hagrid and we waited 60 minutes or 55 55 minutes um, so that was a win very much very much but a win we had a roll back on it. Literally, we stopped at I think the third launch, yeah. and we had to like roll back and do it again. Yeah. And then, when you spoiler alert five, four, three, two, one, when you drop, um, we stopped there as well. Yeah. Terrified. We're cursed. I am forever cursed. Yeah. And we're back in the room. Look at it. Oh my god. And we'll be there later in the week. And it's this one's first time there. Fab. Fabless. This view. So we have had, what, like a 45 minute chill? Yeah. We watched the end of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark um, and just rested. Well, Stop. Sam did. And he was like, watch this bit and then watch this bit. I'm very passionate about <laughs> people enjoying things that I enjoy. But we are now gonna go down have some pool time and grab some food and we will take you along for what we can of that. So, let's go. They're playing a film by the pool. We've timed it well. And pool hours at Cabana Bay are 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm on holiday. <laughs> so we've just ordered food from Hideaway. It's not gonna focus, there it is. And we have gone for, I've gone for fish tacos and you've got a buffalo chicken wrap. That's it. And we have indulged in one, what was described as a heavy lager, which is delicious. Didn't catch the name of it. And mine, I didn't catch the name of. But he let me try it first. Cause I was like, I'm more of like a pale ale sort of guy. And he let me try it and it's delicious. So I was like, one of them. Cheers. He's got the goods. Come on, holiday. <laughs> it took about half an hour to come, but we're vibing. Buffalo chicken. Them tacos look lush. I'm so excited. You can have some. Boom. Let's go. Yes. 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 I think it might be good. No. Forgive me, there is no graceful way to eat a taco, so... Sweet Lord. Good? Mm -hmm. It's like fresh. The sauce has a little heat to it. Bit is balanced with this law. This is a really good fish taco. Better than the ones we had in the airport. Yes. We love the... If in doubt, put fish taco on the menu for us pescatarians. Hell yes. Annihilated that food. That was such good food for like a resort poolside. <laughs> so the lazy river was closed on the other side. I think um, there must be a maintenance thing or maybe a weather thing. So we've come over to the other side. And he's about to do the slide. 
Daddy, watch me twirl. You <laughs> <laughs> did, did it. it. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs> All done with pool time. We're going to have a sweet treat and uh, go watch a horror film in the room to gear this one up <laughs> for tomorrow night. <laughs> Halloween Resurrection is the film of choice. Iconic. I thought it was Halloween Homecoming Marathon. Oh, that's just a marathon. Hello. <laughs> it's been an amazing first day. Sorry, someone's getting killed. Um, it's been an amazing first day. Um, chilled so far. So good. We said with this whole day we wanted to take a more chilled approach, and I feel like we still achieved enough that the 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 Disney slash Universal brains are still okay with it. Mm -hmm. but we've also taken our time. We've had a wonderful day. We've had a wonderful chill by the pool. Oh, I've had a wonderful evening. Oh, I've had a wonderful evening. Oh, I've had a wonderful night. Oh, wonderful night. Um, but no, we are heading to Universal Studios primarily tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll probably have a break in the middle of the day because we're foreseeably going to go quite hard at Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching to the end of this one. Thank you. I don't know what I've done with my hair, but it is what it, it is. is. What it is. It is what it is. We're gonna watch this film. We're gonna have a shower, and then we're gonna go to bed. Yeah. So join us for the next video where we'll be doing Universal and Halloween horror nights. And hopefully, Sam will upload them soon. I'm gonna make him. Good night!